Welcome back to the Bank Guide. I'm your Bank Guide, Colin, and today is another video in the 5 Minute Logic Expert series where I'm bringing you 30 tips and tricks for recording, mixing, and mastering in Logic in 30 days. And today we're talking about vocal tuning, specifically two ways that you can do vocal tuning inside Logic that are built in free inside Logic. The first is Flex Pitch. You may have heard of this. The second is their built in pitch correction plugin, which is similar to something like Auto Tune. And there's advantages and disadvantages, pros and cons for each of them. So we're going to look at both of them and go over the pros and cons for both in today's video. So let's go and jump straight into Logic and take a look at it. Now, here we have a vocal, and first and foremost, the most important thing if you want your vocal to sound good is it has to be a good performance. You can definitely make an okay performance much, much more on key with pitch correction, but you can't take a full-on bad performance and make it an amazing performance. That said, I'd rather have a take that is the right feeling and the right emotion that's close to in tune and then tune it later and get all that feel and emotion and just get the tuning right later. That's one of those amazing trade-offs and one of the things that makes vocal tuning such an important tool in my opinion is that it means that instead of having to get 500 takes to get the right take, you can just get the right emotion where your performance is close enough and then use tuning to get that last little bit. It means one less variable that you have to 100% nail when you're working on your music. So let's go and look at this and let's start by just listening to this example. So this is the vocal that we're gonna be paying attention to today. Because me at a quarter to three somebody ought to call the doctor way i'm back on my feet we're just going to listen to that one little clip you're probably going to hear it a few times now the first option that i want to talk about is flex pitch to enable this we're just doing this through the editor window here you can use the e on the keyboard to bring that up or just press on this little pin icon up here and then we're turning on flex pitch here. And if you haven't enabled it already, it, you'll have to select flex pitch and then it'll take a second to analyze it. I'd already turned it on, so nice and quick for us. Now with it, you need to find where the actual notes are sung. In this case, they're way down here. And what you see now is a visual representation of every single note that was sung. Now this is a pro and a con of this. The pro is that you can get really specific in what you're correcting, if anything. Instead of, you know, auto-tune that's gonna be correcting any note that it hears, I can say, well, this all sounds fine to me, except right here, I notice that she doesn't quite get up to that note, so I'm just gonna nudge that note up just a little bit, right? So, you heard that, that's kinda of weird, right? But you can get really, really specific. I also think at the same time, that's a bit of a con because it can feel really, really overwhelming. It can become a bit of a paralysis of choice. All of these options, all of these little things in front of me, what do I do? But this is where I encourage you to trust your ears, trust your judgment, listen, and try to decide, does this actually need anything? I think you can make a case that this vocal that I played for you doesn't actually need any tuning. But I think a little bit of tuning is gonna help it sit just perfectly in that mix where it's never a little bit out, whether sharp or flat. So for example, I think right here, that example that I said, I think she's not quite getting up to that note. Now, there's a lot of ways that we can adjust our audio with flex pitch. I can use this fine pitch to just pull it up or down a little bit at a time. Uh, I can also use a pitch correction slider over here to just snap it perfectly to a note. And I can set the key of the song. This song is in a minor and then now it's only going to let it be on notes that are in the key of the song which i find to be really helpful so i don't have to think a whole lot about it as i'm working on it so i think if these notes just came up just a little bit to where they're perfectly on key by the way if you double tap on it it will slide it to the nearest note and then you can drag it to be in key so i think something like this just gets it that little bit extra. And then it's not tuning anything else, which I think is really nice. Now, flex pitch, another con of flex pitch is that sometimes because it is algorithmic, because it uh, is doing a fair amount of processing, it can start to be artifacty. You can start to kind of hear it, especially I find on like S's or on breaths. Um, and I haven't spent enough time with it since I did the most recent update. They might have fixed that in this update. I'm not sure. But in general, it's something that I, I've struggled with on some vocals where it becomes really apparent. Uh, my hope is that they fix it. I don't know if they did. If you find that you feel like flex pitch is a little bit too obvious to you, try either the pitch correction plugin or try something like Melodyne. It's not super expensive if you get it on a sale. Uh, and sometimes just the different versions of vocal tuning sound different on different voices. So I've had it where Melodyne sounds great on a voice that flex pitch doesn't. I've had it where flex pitch sounds great on a voice that Melodyne doesn't. So 
I think you you can't really go right or wrong when it comes to the software. It's just about what serves what it is that you're working on. Okay, so that's flex pitch. There's some pros, there's some cons. Now let's turn this off and let's bring up the pitch correction plugin. So the pitch correction plugin here is exactly what you see. So I've already set it to be in the key of the song. So you wanna set it to be in the key of your song. Otherwise it will default just to being in uh, the chromatic scale, which just means that it's gonna pull to whatever the nearest note you sang is, meaning that sometimes it might actually be pulling it out of the key of the song. So do try to put it in the key of the song. So in this case it's A minor. And then the big things that you are paying attention to with this are response and tolerance. So tolerance is how much you could go over and under before it's gonna tune it. And response is how quickly it's going to tune it. So if we pull this all the way to zero, you're gonna get uh, an auto-tune effect. You're calling me at a quarter to three. Somebody ought to call the doctor way I'm back on my feet. And if I bring this tolerance all the way to zero, it makes it even more extreme. You're calling me at a quarter to three, somebody ought to call the doctor. Pretty wild, right? So obviously if you're working on something like this, like that doesn't really feel right unless you're going for that, which is totally fine. I have nothing against autotune. We've definitely used it in a lot of projects. But a lot of times a, a tolerance of around 10 cents and then playing around with your response time, you can find something that feels very natural where you don't ever actually hear the tune. So right here, it's still a little bit fast. At a quarter to three. Somebody ought to call the doctor way I'm back on my feet. Somewhere around there, it starts to feel very natural to me. And so the pros and the cons that you get with the pitch correction plugin really come down to the amount of control that you get. You can't go into just specific notes and just tune specific notes. It's gonna be applying tuning to everything, which is fine if you're really, really close a lot of the time. Uh, but let's say you are a little bit sharp on a note, and it actually pulls it up to the next note as opposed to down to the note that you meant to be on. Then all of a sudden pitch correction or this pitch correction plugin is going to be working against you instead of with you or for you. So it doesn't really matter which you use as long as it gets you the results that you want. There's been songs where I'll just throw pitch correction on, I'll play around with it, I'll listen through the entire song and make sure it doesn't ever pull it in a direction I don't like. And sometimes that's all I need to do in terms of tuning. But most of the time I want a little bit more flexibility. I don't want everything to be tuned. I just want to tune the things that need it. So I'll end up using flex pitch or Melodyne or something of that sort. So pros and cons, I love the speed of the pitch correction plugin. I love the flexibility of flex pitch. So let me know in the comments below which you like better, which you think you'll use in your music. Before you go, I wanna give you something. If you don't already have my six step checklist to a pro mix, download it. It's gonna help you out so much. If you're struggling to get a mix that you're happy with in Logic, this just goes through the six steps that all professional mixes have and how to do it specifically in Logic. It's completely free from link in the description below, so be sure to pick it up. And if this video is helpful, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow with another five minute Logic Expert.